fair. It's loud. Ahoy! I couldn't couldn't decide what to do today. So vintage story. A few minutes before stream. Still didn't know what I was streaming. Oh god, my coffee is hot. If it does feel like years. Like actual years. Here we go. Perfect. Why? Oh. <laughs> Hitting the wrong. Probably. Yeah. There's going to be basically everything on the server is going to be rotted of mine. But I did leave. I did leave a lot of peanuts and sunflowers planted, so maybe they'll be okay. I was kind of tossing up between jumping on the server or uh, doing some single player so I can play with the mods that I wanted. But we'll do server and see how I feel. So it's been ages, it's been a long, long time. Been a long time since I rock and roll. Right, let's put this over here. Work. I think that's gonna work. Um, I have a. I don't know how clearly this comes across. I've got a a yellow, uh, no, not yellow, pink inflatable cone of shame on Daisy. And it makes it look like, look like she's been eaten by, uh, eaten, eaten by Kirby. Hey, Brylo. Um, so the, the monitor that everyone pitched in for was out of stock, but I was able to, she is, I was able to order, uh, another one that was actually a named brand. Like a, I got an Acer monitor coming in that should come in on Thursday, I think. And I managed like squeaking on a sale, so I'm actually managed to get a better monitor than what we originally had on Throne. So I'm very excited. She's been in, she's been attacked by a door. She's so unimpressed right now. Yeah, I'm very excited. So basically the same monitor, same sort of basic specs, but it's an Acer monitor, which I feel like I might have better luck with than Amazon random brand. I'm so excited. I'm super excited. Um, but yes, Madam has been uh, chewing her back feet. Um, I managed to chew one of them kind of raw. And I, I don't know what the deal is because I don't think she can feel them. But she still kind of sees them as like part of her. So I had to go out there with like... <laughs> Hey, boy, Frank. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, little buddies. Go out this morning and like clean it, put a dressing on it, wrap it in an ice bandage, and put a shoe on. And she was just like watching me the whole time, like, "What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing?" That's why she has the donut of shame. So we will see. I've had to put it back on her once. It's basically just like an inflatable bladder um, with a cover over it that has Velcro. And she's pretty clever. But I'm hoping she'll figure out that it gives her something to like rest her chin on. There's got to be mod updates, surely. Six. Jesus Christ, what have they been doing?
Plenty of artillery, primitive survival. Okay, so these are just updates. Everyone's got like fucking fancy backpacks and shit. I'm still like schlepping around with with my OG backpacks. Meanwhile, Toast is basically a camel at this point. So yes, there's going to be so much fraud. So the jobs today are, I need to organize storage because storage is a shambles. And that's kind of, yeah. For like, um, was it Augra in uh, the labyrinth? The, the old wizened woman who had like Sarah's room in her, on her back. It was Augra. I can't remember. Also, I got my nails done, so I'm fancy. I got a proper pedicure. It was so bizarre. All right. Oh. Oh, grow was Dark Crystal. Who is it that's... Wait, how is this not rotted yet? And why... What is on up with my... Oh, my... That's all right. My mango syrup is still good for another 35 years. Peanut skins are good still. Yeah, right. Mm hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see we. Oh no, I'm gonna have to drink all my booze. Okay. Raining party! Why, why? Wait, where's my alerts? Hey! Why? Hey, there, there they are! Hi, why? Hello. I saw the ladybug puzzle you had up on your stream. It was very cute. Hope you had fun and grounded. Hi, Soma. One human. Fine human, the lovely human. It was perfect. It was very cute. Hello, Mega Jelly Mac. Who's first? Soma's first. Okay, Soma's here. We can start streaming now. I hope you had a wonderful time. Welcome and yeah, get wrecked, everyone else. Soma got first. I mean, yeah. Sucks to be you, Baron. Slacker. Um yeah. I hope you had fun. What were you working on some dare drop stuff? Um, but welcome in everyone. Uh, for those who, who who don't know me, or I guess to quote Molly, those who do. Uh, hi. I'm I'm Del. I'm Deliria. Uh, my pronouns. <laughs> my pronouns are she her. Uh, yeah, that was a wonderful sparkle. You did a good job. And. Uh, I've just logged into Vintage Story for the first time in months, maybe? Maybe months. Um, and so basically the only thing I have to eat here is booze. Those wolf spiders. <sighs> the sounds that those things make. Booze only run. Yeah, well, I, th I mean, that's literally it. Thankfully, I have a, a somewhat full tummy, but yeah. All I, all I have, no, I like, I have some sheets of, of seaweed. <laughs> of course you did. I can't wait to see the clip of that. Whoopsie. So much. Rot. Okay, so the pineapple syrup is fine. The side oh god, we're gonna hit guys, we're gonna have to drink. We're gonna have to do a whole lot of drinking. Drex is gonna be so proud of me. Actually, I was expecting more spoilage. I think the bottles would have lasted longer if they were out here. 
But I think they were in there because I was I was crashing the server for Drax. I'm good like that. My my I'm 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 the official uh dear uh, official server crasher. Okay, so syrup, olive oil can get put away. Syrup, syrup. Oh boy, olive oil. What's that? That's olive oil too. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Is that olive oil too? It is. But good news, I have lots of olive oil. That's pineapple syrup. Right. Oh no, what's that? Ah, It's been a... It... I don't even have any tools. It's been so long, all of my tools rotted. Okay. I don't think that's how it works, but may well kind of. That olive oil. What's that? Orange sir. Okay, and that's pomegranate sir. Okay, so I have the fixings probably to make candy, but first. We're gonna have to drink. I think. So we found out that the crash that I could cause was. Oh, wait, I have flax oil in here. What is flax oil for? Um, I could re reproduce a crash specifically by putting. Hey! <laughs> why why is that that should be over here everything's in the wrong order so i mean thank you for the maxwell invasion is my music too loud by the way it's pretty loud for me but i don't hear what you guys hear Okay. Oh, hey, I made a cool kitchen. All right. Load up the compost bin. Yeah, we will meeting up. At I would love to go to Rotterdam. But, um, no. <laughs> Uh, I would love to, but that's, that's probably not going to happen. Oh, I have salt as well. Yeah. Yeah. You could just, just Venmo me the, the tickets, the tickets and, and, uh, we will be good. Oh, oh yeah, we need to go check the, uh, the windmill to make sure it's all still working. Oh, that tree got big. Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll be totally fine. Hello. Hey, Flav. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, that's that's a thing. Up. 
Fiance. Are there. There. There we go. Okay, so I was curious if this would work. Oh, this is trippy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, well, I mean, this is still turning, so there must be something still going up there. Okay, I don't have any tools. Should probably, you know, get onto that. I, I mean, it's it's definitely a thing that happens for sure really what i ought to be looking at before i start messing around with that is food and then Um, why are you being weird? Because I'm pushing the wrong button. Whoopsie. I'm going to have so much rot. I, you, you, I know you're all jealous. It's kind of a nice little treat, actually, you know? Been away for a while, you come back and you've just, like, full of rot. Hey, Mott! Alright, well, let's... Thanks, Lootbot. Good to know you're here. Okay, so I'm gonna need a... Dagger? Ugh. <sighs> Yeah. I think I my my hose at my other house. Yeah, me too, especially now that it's it's more useful. Um that too. Oh, that's almost gone. You know what? That's fine. We'll take that too. Alright, we're gonna go check out where my other farm was. And it's been a while. I'm surprised I didn't have an eviction notice on the front door. Oh, hang on. Before we get... Here we go. Let's just drink a bunch of wine. To help us travel. Ugh. But I'm still hungry. Wait. Okay, four. We have to now. So we've got to finish up find up a wine followed by some orange cider. Oh god. This is fine. Our insider sounds really good. Actually, once you get moving, it's not so bad. It's just when you stop.
it looks like potentially two out of three of my windmills are working fine. So. Good. What are we at September? I mean, it doesn't really make any difference here. Hopefully no mole man has like moved into my house. All right. Oh, and it's calm for like 17 minutes. Good. It, man, it feels like so long since I played last. Should go get some more meteoric iron too. Just realized I can barely hear the game. And I feel like my audio balance is just all out of whack. Why did that do that? Oh, ow. I think the word happy triggered that. The happy emote triggered the daisy spam. Maybe. I don't know. I'm a professional. Oh, you beauty. Look at that. I got peanuts and sunflower seeds and I have syrup and salt at home. So we're good. Man, it's, this all feels weird, but also kind of familiar. All right. So we still have, what, one, these purple exclamation marks are meteors that I've not dug up yet. There's at least three, four, Five. So there's still like five, at least five more videos on this plane that I've not dug up. Going on in here? Some delicious rocks. Some olive oil. There are peanut skins. Some more bras. Oh. Oh, hey, let me out. All right. Okay. So that's good as a shelter, but not much else. So I guess we need to. Uh, do some harvesting.
My frame rate seems a bit jumpy, and I don't know if it's just me. Oh, hey, I got pineapples growing. Alright, so I guess we're going to be doing a whole lot of roasting of stuff today. Hi! 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 Good morning! Good morning! Hi, Echo friend! Right, what did they give me? How's the soil? Really? Am I not turtly enough for Hello. the club? In. Wait, what is this? It's good for in crops. I think it's plant. I missed you. You've been busy. So busy. Um. Well, I guess we're going to have to chug some grenadine now. But these are things that you can do so that you can be lazy later. You're like, just banking lazy. See? That is a good point, Ryan. I don't know if I can get more drunk than I am right now. Uh. Put that in there. I don't know what the type A thing means, but that sounds like you're making a positive change, so that's good. Alright, what did I plant here? Sunflowers. Oh, okay. Thank you. I I think I used to be like that. Wine has a way with words for sure. Hello, bees. 
Yeah, I used to work like seven hours a week and uh Gregarious, I think is another one. Good one. Yeah, I'd work like seven hours a week running all the bars and then, you know, the socializing and the beer. And I didn't realize how much I was doing until I stopped. And then I was like, I can't do that again. <laughs> But I was definitely like, for a while there, I was getting energized by high stress, I think. Yeah. It was, it was. And then uh, I said, I, I stopped after I left New Zealand because, you know, I wasn't managing the bars. Well, this was when I was in my 20s. Late 20s, mid to late 20s. <laughs> so, that was a while ago. Definitely you can do it now. I can normally manage some periods of high intensity stuff, like with the go, go, go. Um, but the moment the go is done, I'm gone. Like I get like a, a whiplash reaction almost and my body is like, you stop that. And I can feel it happening. Uh oh. It's weird. I think I would say that I have a type of personality, but I don't know why it yeah, you were. You were working a lot. Oh, they were all going. I, w I was I was worried about you there for a while. But look where you are now. Did it. All right, I I don't need to worry about food immediately because I still have more liquor. Yeah. So while I'm drunk, let's climb a tree. It'll help. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's all. I know, Igor. 9 a.m. to 11. Oh, yeah, in your wine shop. Yeah. I believe it. It doesn't leave any room for anything else, yeah? Like, that's cute. Yeah, people are like, oh, I'm gonna retire and own a restaurant. I'm like, no. <laughs> you don't retire into hospitality un unless you want to own it and let someone else manage it. Uh... <laughs> and have complete hands off, that ain't retirement. All right, I was curious if these screens were gonna protect my tree, uh, my windmill. And they have, so. And that's the way That's, that's the way to do it, Soma. I don't think I would have near the patience uh, 
to do what I did. That's going to take down the whole fucking tree, isn't it? It is. Dang it. Alright, that's fine. I'll just find another one. V villainality. I like that. Ah. What's going on here? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Where would I be without you to help me, Echo? Oh, I still have another. Oh no, that's sunflower grain. I was like, I still have rot. All right. So grain. Oh, awesome! Oh, does that mean you've got a new number, or did you just transfer? It's a, it's such a nice surprise when you get a, a something like that. Like we had that. Okay, cool. Um, when Flint and I got the phones that I did last last year or the year before, it was we got them from. It was like a track phone deal. We only ever use track phone because we don't really use phones much. Um, it was like through Home Shopping Network or something, but they had these really nice fo phones that had like sixty four megapixel cameras or something. Um. And the phones have honestly been so nice that normally we cycle through to a new phone every year um, because it's cheaper than just... It's cheaper to get a new phone every year from Track Phone. Um, and then I repurpose the old phones, but we've actually kept the same model because we've liked it so much. We've had the same number since we were 16. That's really cool. I've had this one for... I don't know how long. Wow, well, now. I think there may only be like a, a dozen people tops who actually have my number. If that. Okay. Peanuts. Oh. Well, okay. Wait. Is this, is this working yet? I don't know if it's working or not. Oh, I brought the scythe with me. I didn't, I didn't want the scythe with me. Wait, what am I doing? Here, because we're going to be roasting. We're going to let's roast some peanuts. Look at that. I have three fireplaces. So fucking organized. Eee. Forgot about that. Okay. So many peanuts. I'm I'm so thankful that before I played last time I planted a bunch of peanuts and sunflowers. This this little character basically just lives on sunflower seed candy. 
And that's it. Wait, how do I do this again? Fire. So, yesterday, um, once Mum and I went and got, uh, pedicures, and, which is the first time I've had anyone do that in years. Um, and I got a manicure as well. So I got little, very short tips. Um, so they're not like really long. So I'm feeling fancy as fuck. But it was the weirdest feeling. And by weird, like weird, uncomfortable being so close to another human like i'm i'm not used to having that proximity to someone other than flint that it was like quite uncomfortable thankfully the nail technician uh, who was working on stuff on my nails was really good at picking up my cues um and so he he wasn't like super chatty he, like, he was making a lot of eye contact, which was making me really uncomfortable. Um, but he did a really, like, he'd be like, you do, you're doing okay? You are okay there? And he'd like, he was like reassuring me and like coaxing me through the progress. And I'm like, sorry, I just like, I kept on like zoning out. He did a really good job. But yeah, I didn't realize, I, I don't. I don't do personal interaction very well. IRL, it's it, people in their meat suits. I I did think of that echo. <laughs> I mentioned that to Sadie actually. Um, I was like, Sadie, you know how Echo's mentioned before about my thing with buttons? <laughs> and Sadie's like, yes. And your sensory issues? I was like, uh, yeah. How about getting uncomfortable with eye contact and being near other people? <laughs> I didn't think about it until then, but yeah. But yeah, he was really lovely. Um, and he also told me how to take these off so I don't have to go back in. And then at some point he mentioned that he had a break during the day and he had to go work on the, the brakes on his car. Um, and all of a sudden I was like, he, what he was, he was really, he was really lovely, but he's like, I had to, I had a break on my break today. I went home and I worked on the brakes on my car and I was like, oh, did you have to like change them or were you like bleeding the brakes? And then his ears perked up and he's like, oh no, it was just replacing the rotors. And he's like, you know, in the weekend I've got to do like some more work on the engine. I need to replace the spark plugs. And I started talking about how I had to switch out the carburetor and my lawnmower and all of a sudden there was like this like connection so we're like car talk while getting the nails done which was a really interesting juxtaposition mm. i get a lot of that too and it's not something that i've ever considered um It was all things that I could relate to in depth, but I never considered that maybe I was in that spectrum. But after being more sort of self-aware, yeah, I did like over the last few years, I think I've got a lot better about understanding myself. Like a lot of the times where I thought I was anxious and dealing with anxiety, I was overstimulated. Um,
in uh, if I can remove myself from the over being overstimulated, it's I'm good. Totally fine. Um, but it took and until a couple of years ago to even figure that out. And honestly, I think the only reason I've kind of got even to that point is because of the people here on Twitch. Yeah. Well, and as well, you know, the brain is such a plastic thing. It's like everyone's, everyone's different. And there's so many different ways of, of the, for the brain to like rewire itself to process. But I, I definitely like looking back at, at my twenties, seeing that I did, I was overstimulated and masking the whole time. <laughs> Let's see. But I didn't even know that these were this, this was a, this sort of language. I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh no 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 not at all. Echo. I. I feel like the observations that you make. Well, I know the observations that you make come from a place of love, a hundred percent. I would definitely tell you if I felt uncomfortable. What I don't, it's it's more like something clicks, and I'm like, oh, okay. So the origin of this was I was telling Echo about my button collection. <laughs> I, I I love buttons. <laughs> Hi, Scotty. Um, but yeah, there was one stream where I was enthusing vehemently to Echo about my button collection. And just, I think, over time as our friendship's grown, and I sort of perhaps let my guards down, guard down a bit more on stream as well, um, get more comfortable with myself, more of these things come out. Um, but I, I mean... I am I am who I am, and, and that's that's not going to change no matter on someone else's observations. But if it, honestly, if it weren't for Twitch, I would still think uh, that I was cis, cat, and like normal but stressed now i'm cis pen a u a d d i don't fuck i don't know which might be gay i mean sure you took a giant is it oh Yeah, I, I did a similar thing too, Echo. They buttons are great, Scotty. Um, I did a I can't remember where I found there was a test and there was basically a lot of sensory stuff. Um like sensory is big for me. Huge stuff, but a lot of interpersonal things that I mask and I think I picked that up through doing hospitality. But the, there was like a, I can't remember what the score range was, but I basically got like over 50%, which meant that I was like, I don't know, in the cool kids club or something. I fucked if I know. Um, but like, I remember talk, like, <laughs> they call it, hey Tom, um, remember when I was little, and it's still, I still have the same reaction now. Hearing a fire engine or a loud siren makes me want to cry. Just straight off the bat, I just start tearing up. It's just too much. And I, when I went to see um, Lord of the Rings at the movies, I am so fucking mercenary. If I pay for something, I'm going to get what I paid for just as a frame of reference. And so when there was a, a the Lord of the Rings special thing going on back home, 
in some fancy theater and it was a fucking expensive ticket you got like a lazy boy chair and they'd bring you food and they you'd bring you wine and uh all that bullshit and the start of the movie with the music it i had to leave i walked out of the theater uh like it just it was overload like 100 percent like the size of the screen, the imagery with like, you know, the beautiful mountains and the music. It was beautiful, but it was just too, too much. <laughs> I was like, I'm going now. Um, oh, that's amazing wine. Like it, <sighs> The, the, these journeys of self-discovery come out of the most strange places. It's about purposely misinterpreting and trivializing. Is it to diffuse it? I have many a t-shirt where there's a hole in the neck seam because I can't even wait to get my seam ripper out. I'm just like, pull that fucker there and fuck it out. I'm done. Don't don't put coat tags in my shirts. And woe betide any tag in my underwear. Oh, it's a deflection thing. I like, no, I get it. I like it. I have one t-shirt and I love the t-shirt, but for some reason, just on the inside neck, same on the left shoulder, and I can't find it with my hands. It's just like a little, a stitch or something just like a little something that scratches and it infuriates me i think i've worn it a couple times on stream i've had to get up and get changed because i can't <laughs> it's my brain's like stop it oh oh thank you echo Oh no, I'm hungry. Uh, let's just knock back some some wine. That'll be fine, right? Oh, okay. I'll do that because it's a it's a nice, comfy T-shirt, but I just <sighs> it's literally just in that one spot. And I, I very nearly tossed it because it just makes me so mad. <laughs> Drinking on an empty stomach is a good idea, right? But I also, I, because I have a lot of texture issues with food as well. All bad choices. It's all bad choices. Bad choices would be leave the door. Oh, speaking of which, lightning. Um. Oh god, now the screen is swaying. Why did I do this? Thankfully, though, I've been getting better at experience at expressing when I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm on a boat. Um, so like Flint and I went out for a meal the other day and we walked into a place that he wanted to go and I just took one look at all the people and I just backed out. I'm like, nope. He's like, you're okay? I'm like, too many people. Can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> He's like, that's okay. We'll go somewhere else. Oh, 
it has helped a lot um for sure yeah i i don't know if it helps anyone else <laughs> um but it's what it, it's do, it's done for me because i think we've been using it for a couple of months now is it's in my stream title so it's something that i'm changing every day and now i see it and it's making me just stop and pause and be like okay where do i fit on this little scale that we've made like where am i today being aware that you know like i know it could change but like where am i right now and it's a pretty relaxed kind of scale of like the health check yeah no i do um and it's it has been really useful for me just to be like okay so i think i'm okay but actually i'm not <laughs> um so i i try not to overthink it but it's definitely it feels helpful and i've had other people come in and they've used it to express themselves too like it's someone come in and they'll I, I try not to ask people how they are because as a streamer that's a loaded question um but i'll always you know like i hope you've had an okay day or you know something like that unless i know unless i know you I'm, i try not to ask how you are directly um but we've had people come in and like they'll open with like it's it's been a blue day so i'm just here for company and i'm like cool i got you <laughs> Okay, we have ads starting briefly, maybe? Possibly. Maybe in 30 seconds? I am going to go AFK and go we when the ads start. If they start, they may start now. They might start in 10 seconds. I don't know. We'll see what Twitch wants to do. My first ad break never runs on time. Like never. I I don't know why. No. I don't know. Sometime in the next thirty seconds. Yes, maybe. Probably. <sighs> Hello. Which is just like it's starting soon. There it is. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm pretty sure the door is closed. Just check. Yes. All right. I'll be back. Oh my god, my monitor is shipped. Oh, oh, Echo, I, I trimmed all the ends 
So this first blanket is now totally finished. It's been through the wash one more time. Washer and the dryer. So now it's ready to get sent to Buckma. It does. It came out good. I was a little, there were a couple of squares where I was a little bit like not sure when I trimmed the tails. But I, I washed it with the tail sticking out to let it, let them kind of work in. And then I trimmed them and then I just washed it again today. I still have to finish Stu's blanket. Um, but yeah, it's so good. But my, the monitor is shipped. The monitor is shipped. So I'm, I am very excited. I just had an email about it. Yes. I have, I have excited. Oh, good thing peanuts can't burn now. I need... I need to talk to my landlord about getting, you know, like, electricity in here or something. This is... I was... We were on the back, on the way back home yesterday, and uh, I got an email from Throne saying that there was a problem with the the order for the monitor, and I was like, no! But it was on my phone, so I couldn't really see what it was. And then when I got home, they were like, hey, that monitor's not in order, not available. So what you can do is you can get it all put on like your account balance, then add something that is in stock to your wish list, and then use the account balance to to get that. It's very confusing, but it worked. And then the monitor that I was looking at, that I got. Oh really, Simon? So the monitor I got. Um, it was actually better than what I originally had, but today the price went up by $50, but I'd already had it ordered. I think there's like one other. Oh, that's such a shame. I'm sorry you've had a bad experience with them. I've had pretty good, I think I've only had a couple of issues, but this is the first time I've had something has been out of stock. The throne gift exchange was a bit harder to manage. Um, I've had one item go missing, but that's just where I live. I can't remember the name of it, but I do, I know that there is another platform. I mean, you can add, on, you can use an Amazon wish list. You can add non Amazon things to an Amazon wish list. It doesn't have that level of privacy. Which, you know, isn't great if you have someone who's a bit stalkerish. But you can still, like, hide your information and stuff in that a bit. My main thing that I, I have, I think, is that they, their fees are quite high. And they have a habit of like sneaking in this like priority shipping thing. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I remember that. 
I think that is that is not um, the old the pricing not updating from specifically from Amazon is actually an Amazon limitation. Um, though Throne need to do need to do better on that with a few things. Um, but there's is oh, it's from the Throne director. Okay, well then they they fucked up there. But yeah, there's a thing with Amazon where their policy basically dictates that you can't have like a, a an automated feed on their pricing because Flint and I were ran a website for a little while there was primarily just like affiliate links to Amazon and stuff um, and we had to constantly go through and update pricing manually we weren't allowed to have it automated even using a proper like shopping cart interface it was so annoying. Maybe I should just take them. But yeah, no, that's dumb. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience with them. That's a real shame. The other um, thing they need to address which is something I hadn't even thought about until another streamer posted is uh, hi Molly hello aww that's a real shame Molly how's Nightingale? Oh yeah, no, totally, totally valid. Uh, I mean, all it, all you need is like one one reason with something like that, and you have multiple, so it, it's totally understandable. Yeah, um, but yeah, there's another streamer. Um, she's a, a, I mean, she's a, I don't know, she's a pretty big streamer, and. Uh, She's had a problem with people adding. So you can turn on surprise gifts and gift suggestions and you can limit surprise gifts so there's no adult content. But you can't. Prevent adult content from being given as a recommended suggestion. So she's had people basically spam gift suggestions of sex toys. And they mentioned like they were going to try and work it. And I'm like, good, because this is sexual harassment. Like one person just spamming. And sh she's pretty relaxed and about it. But she's like, this is this is still not OK. Like that someone can do it. Like you can block the person. But really, the system needs to be set up so that you can say, no, I don't want adult toys or alcohol or whatever you should be able to pick the categories that you want to have as uh gift suggestions or they should even be able to allow you to put like um create like lists of of keywords for blocking or enabling i'm trying not to use whitelist and blacklist um So that's definitely something they need to address. I feel really fortunate that we have as a whole had a really positive experience with them. Um, I started using Throne because I had someone... <sighs> yeah, that's totally valid, Soma. You, you've got to do what you can to feel safe. Um, but I, I had a community member who is no longer hi Sadie um a community member who's no longer with us through uh, me finally putting my foot down who who had my details through my Amazon wish list and uh it was a whole thing like it, it wasn't an issue at the time 
um, he basically came to my house and asked me to leave Flint. He did visit with consent, but it kind of got a bit weird. Um, and after that, I'm like, I, I need to start, I need to start doing better about hiding my identity. Not unless, well, it kind of is and it kind of isn't. You've got to make sure it, it, you can, you can choose to hide your address um, and your names, but the throne gives you the anonymity. Yeah. It was, it was a, it was a whole thing. I'm sure some of you heard about it at some point, but I basically got like fully fucking gaslit into a very uncomfortable and, and nefarious situation, <laughs> which result, I mean, it's resolved. Oh. What? That's bizarre, Wayne. Yeah, that they farm. That was basically when I was like, "Wait a minute, what?" Like, I I am all about the flirt. Like, flirting is fine. I'm not jealous of Flint flirting with other people. I flirt. I will flirt with fucking anyone. Like a little gentle flirting with consent you know you can have com you can have fun conversations uh but there was there were barriers there were boundaries that i set that weren't respected and uh it took me a long time to realize that it's not okay for someone to dm you while you're streaming and tell you that your titties look great uh yeah and then if i apparently i'm just pouring my heart out on stream now um I uh, said I don't like that, and he went. Well, I'm I'm unsubscribing to you then. And I'd had this pattern of behavior for so long that I was like, okay, <laughs> nothing else to do while the peanuts cook. Yeah, it was it was a weird. I didn't I didn't even realize how much control this person had. It was, it was a whole thing. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not a big enough streamer to have, you know, have weirdos. It is. Oh, I, t mine, I get it a hundred percent now. I, but I was just like, this isn't something that'll happen to me. I'm. I'm too clever to get sucked in by someone trying to manipulate me. Um, but basically, I eventually picked out this, this pattern would be, I would play a game, this person wouldn't like it. So they would DM me and say they were going to unsubscribe. So I would be like, okay, so I would change the games that I was playing. I would change the content I was making. And then I'd play something else and then they DM me and go, I don't like what you're playing, so I'm going to unsubscribe. And there was a whole lot of other bullshit in there as well. And eventually I'm like, wait a minute, what the fuck is going on? This person's literally waving $2.50 half a sub in front of my face to try and manage me. <laughs> um, and I, I, I was getting a lot of gifts from them as well. But I was just like, what? What? Who does that? Also, knowing full well that I'm like pretty much constantly broke ass, sitting there waving a $5 bill or $2.50 in front of someone's face. It's just mean. Like, it's just cruel, right? Yeah. I mean, what I've come to realize is that, so my, my flirtation, I have somehow, I, I don't like, I get really uncomfortable with reference, sexual references. 
incredibly uncomfortable sexual references. Hey, wait! Echo! Oh my god! It's the merge perch! The merge perch has arrived! Exclamation mark, enter in chat! If you would like to win a peer mug, I did not know. I forgot I set up the, the merch perch. Literally just a fish. E exclamation mark, enter in chat if you want to win a peer mug. Echo, thank you. It's Pierre. Ha ha ha. Do it. Do it. Echo, thank you. I was like, why is there a fish on my screen? <laughs> your, your lucky Buckman's not here to steal all your tickets, Soma. I, I, I want to see who, I want to find out who goes, who's going to win. Soma! Soma! The witchcraft worked. All right. Make sure you click that link. Click the li clicky the linky. Thank you. And pop your details in. I think you're familiar with how it works. Oh, do you? Yay. Oh, so I'm going to have to add that as a blocked term. Thank you, Echo, for gifting a peer mug for Soma. I, I love that you can give away merch on uh, Fourth Wall. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I have... I have my bee mug. <laughs> At the moment, it's holding teaspoons, but well, it's an invisible bee. How to be invisible? This is the. Yes, you can, and you can do it for each tier too. Oh yeah, Molly's Molly's merch store has just been updated, and it's really fucking cool. I don't have anything to eat. Wait, have I got more wine? Rex would be so proud of me. Syrup, oil. Alright, let's just do this. Um, but yeah, Molly Molly has just updated their merch store as well with some really cool stuff for Pride, right? Like really fucking cool Pride stuff. Um Hey! Hey! Who did this? I missed that. Oh, that was the redemption, right? That was the redemption? I didn't see what the alert was. Um. Yeah, I don't have bees. I, well, I don't have any dongles there. Okay, I was like... Um, yes. What am I doing? Oh, I need to make a thing. Hang on. Stop, please. Uh. Oh, no, I don't know how to. No, no, look. It's game, please. Here. Stop it. Just eat the peanuts. I forgot I have to make peanut paste first. Liz, please go stop, Liz. Uh. But yeah, I have, I have my B mug. I think in a t-shirt. I think Echo has more merch, more B merch than anyone, but including me. Whoopsie. You get. Yeah. I appreciate the heck out of it because I know that you enjoy it too. Okay. I I am so thankful to have such 
kind, generous people in my life. Like, what the fuck? I've got this big email open on my desk saying your gifts have been shipped for my, uh, the monitor. See, now old me would say I don't deserve it. I'm not going to say that. They am very excited. Very much decided. Wait, you got a bean on him? Hey, get back in there. No, stop it. Okay. Oh, look, now my peanuts are all out of sync. I hate it when my peanuts are desynced. Yes. It's a work in progress. I can't tell if Daisy's got her, her neck ring off or not. <sighs> Daisy has a pink donut. She, she ain't, she ain't happy about it. I, I very, very nearly failed on stream today. But I was like, you know what, I'll do it anyway. Because I was feeling a bit overwhelmed. Um, and I'm glad I did because it feels good to hang out with friends. Oh my god, Soma, that's adorable. I love him. All right. I'm gonna roast all the peanuts. I have, I have a few. Actually, I don't have a lot of bumblebee stuff in my room, which is surprising. Oh, I toast. Um, I have like a couple of like little sort of garden decoration type things, but I don't have a lot of bee stuff. Uh oh. I mean, traveling to Tennessee to buy a garden gnome sounds like a fucking good road trip. I do have a bean gnome, but it's like a doorstop, like one with like sand, with sand on its butt, but not like that. Yes, yeah. Uh, Bonus Mom and I did a road trip through there a few years ago. Um, we knew we wanted to get to Pigeon Forge. Um. And then we wanted to go up the east coast and then cut through the mountains but that was it we had no other plans so basically we'd just like travel and then we'd be like should we get a place for the night and then we just like find a shitty motel to stay in and it took a few days to get up there going up through um carol you know like up through georgia and the carolinas and then over the mountains and it was absolutely beautiful um we went through bucksnort that's a funny place name so we did get to pigeon forge um and we popped over to gatlinburg that was before the massive fire that like the year before the massive fire that fucked the whole place up yeah two years before i think and then uh 
popped up to Sevierville a little bit. And then we drove down through Alabama, back down through Alabama and around. So it was like this big old road round trip. And we drove back on this road called the Dragon's Tail or something. That was really pretty. Like it was just a really gorgeous trip. It was, I want to say like August, September. So the, the leaves were turning. Um, it's really lovely. Oh, I have wood here. It, it, man, trying to remember how to play this game. It was pretty though. Gatlinburg was weird. It was so picture book. My favorite place I think on the whole trip was this little town that we stopped in and I don't know, one of the Carolinas, like it was a little like one one street town that was like basically one street street going up a steep hill. And it had uh, a cider mill, so we sort of drew up there, drove up there, got fresh made cider, and we got some frozen that we could take with us. So we just had like fresh cider the whole trip. It was amazing. You grew up going to Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. Yeah, it's a, that's a weird little duplex of towns. Like you've got like the ye olde, and then. Whatever the fuck Pigeon Forge is. I don't even know what the point of that place is. Like, it's just a strange weird place. <sighs> oh, that didn't light. Fuck. It was, I mean, it was pretty, but honestly, the, the trip there and back were more enjoyable than the time we stayed there. Exactly! I didn't see any pigeons forging anything. We did come back... On a trip back, you came through Athens... No, oh, not Athens, Georgia. But we did come back through Athens, Georgia. In another little town. And we did, like... Um... Sifting for, like, gemstones. Which is obviously, you know, like... You buy a bag of sand with gemstones in it. You know there's going to be stones in there. But it was still a neat little experience. I can't remember the name of the town we went through. It was like a real old-fashioned... Like, they deliberately keep the old character of everything. Somewhere near Athens, Georgia. The room there was fucking expensive. It was so nice just, like... Just driving and stopping whenever you felt like it, though. Part of the reason I may have enjoyed it more is I was a little high on Oxy, because I just had a wisdom tooth pulled. And I still didn't see any pigeons forging anything. I decided after that I don't like I don't like Oxy anymore. I had a, a wisdom tooth pulled through emergency surgery a day before the road trip, and I'm like, I am not giving up this road trip. So I get on really well with my bonus mom, and I didn't want to lose that chance. I didn't I didn't see any sort of connection between pigeons and pigeons and forges and any sort of relationship. I kind of am a little sad that we didn't get to go to Dollywood. I think that would have been fun. I probably forgot that I made this cute as fuck little counter here. I 
I could just drink the syrup, I guess. Um, is, is the music okay, by the way, please? Will someone tell me before I start? Playing? Um, I went back to try and check it on the VOD the other day, but I forgot that I've got it on a separate audio track so that it doesn't recall. You can't hear it. Oh. Oh God, so you've just been listening to me on my own? Why is it not going out? Fuck. But it's going to stream. Okay. Well, that's why it's not too loud. So, bonus? There, I guess. What about now? I thought I was being so clever. Well, shit. Okay. I mean, honestly, not having music is nice sometimes. I, st I still need to figure out a replacement. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I did a... What about when I was playing petrol sim? Petrol gas station sim? I wouldn't hear anything then. Copy. I thought I was being so sneaky and clever. I don't have game music for gas station sim. What is this? Oh, get out of here. Oh, yeah, no, I, I had one before. Okay, now let me do this window capture. Oh, you got music now? Okay. Whew, okay. I forgot that I was... So Drax taught me how to separate my audio from the VOD. But I wasn't... That was making me sweat. <laughs> I... The last time I tried to do it, everyone said it was staticky. So I was trying to do it through a different source. So what I've done this time is I've captured a browser window that's playing the music. And then... So it's playing the music and I've just like did color correction on the browser source and made it fully transparent. <laughs> So there's actually a window browser on stream, it's just you can't see it. Okay. So feel free now, after an hour and a half, to tell me if it's too loud or too quiet. <laughs> Fucking audio.
Okay. I get what well, I mean, it works having it entirely. This is it. This is a Soundstripe music extension, which is which is free, by the way. Okay, the volume is good. That's what I I thought. I haven't capped it. I don't know some number. <laughs> All right. So Soundstripe has a, a free extension, which is pretty good. The playlists are, are sort of a bit limited, but they have some like long playlists. Wayne, I hope you have a yummy dinner. Thank you for joining in. I didn't mean to pull my heart out for her. I guess I'm just feeling a bit raw today and it just kind of happened. I always feel like a, a little bit afterwards, I'm like, oh, a bit bashful. Did I say that? Did I do that? So, <laughs> Flint and I have started watching this show. We got, we got Paramount Plus for a month because of all the Star Treks on there. Um, but we've been watching this show on there called Scorpion, which is so fucking bad, it's enjoyable. Like, the entire intro of the show is just like, wait, 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 wait. I'm real smart, wait, wait, wait. and it just cracks me out. Um, and it's about, I don't know if anyone's watched it, it's about a group of, they call themselves mentally abled, or mentally enabled, which I actually really like. So people that have, have uh, really high intelligence and maths and numbers and stuff, but I, I love the term mentally enabled rather than I don't know, other things. Um, and they, they like, they solve crimes basically for Homeland Security. It's, yeah. Yeah, gifted. Like, this, it's, it's supposed to be loosely based on a real person. And it's so, it's so, that's so full of shit. Like, a hundred percent full of shit, but it's still entertaining as long as you go into it being aware that it's full of the full of shit. It's supposed to be based on this guy who had like an IQ of 197, which is higher than Einstein, even though IQ doesn't mean shit. IQ is only relevant if you happen to be like a white kid, basically. This whole IQ testing thing is, is bullshit. And then he's apparently, he was like arrested, he was born in Ireland, as a child in Ireland, he was arrested by the FBI or some bullshit. I'm like, dude, FBI can't arrest anyone in Ireland. And FBI would have nothing to do with national security. And the FBI didn't even exist when this kid said that he was, <laughs> I was just like, blah, 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 blah. But it's still... Uh, but you can have high intelligence in high school, but the IQ number thing is just like, it's trash. But the show is still very funny, and it's basically, the premise is they have this team of like, gifted people, and then a normie who translates the world for them. Um, it, and it's so funny. Yeah. See, now the thing is, I don't, I believe, I think IQ is a number is, is bollocks, but EQ or, or emotional intelligence is definitely a thing. <laughs> oh, 
Hmm. But apparently my brain has now just, every time I hear the intro, I start doing my smarmy voice. And Flint just rolls his eyes. It is processor speed. You know, it's like how fast your brain can process glucose and a bunch of other things. And then, so she's a, she's a, a single mum. Yeah. Like it is, it's an entertaining show, but it's just complete fluff. I mean, there's so many different ways of measuring, but yeah, that's like the, the SATs. I can't remember where I read it. It was like a really interesting journal article about the SATs and IQ and how that's so weighted um, in terms, especially because a lot of the, the language, so the maths things are usually pretty good, but when you get to the linguistics part of an IQ test or as part of an SAT, there's these massive disparities between um, we white kids and BIPOC kids because they have a different foundation. I, I, yeah, it's a, this new game. You probably wouldn't like it. Uh, it's It's got blocks in it. It's, it's kind of blocky. And peanuts. Lots of peanuts. Quasal. Yeah, and and there's toast. A toast is in it though, so that helps. I mean, I feel like that's more accurate, Baron. It's just as a, a personal hypothesis. I think there's like a certain amount of bandwidth that we all have capability for, and our genetics and our environment and everything sort of like channels that bandwidth into different paths and sometimes it all gets like pulled into one thing so you know you get your musical you know prodigies or whatever or your mathematic prodigies and some people are just really good at a wide range of stuff you know like I don't know I'm talking through talking shit but Everyone's everyone's hiding in here. Well, we're not hiding anymore because Ape arrived. Yeah, we've been getting a few hiccups, so I don't know if the server's having a little hiccup issue. Some problems wording today. I know what I keep meaning to say, but it's not coming out right. I came in and everything was rotted. I had to drink like 16 bottles of rotting pineapple wine. Hmm. Yum. And some rotten orange cider and I can I can smell that. Like I can very clearly imagine the smell of rotting cider. My, my windmill is working still, which I'm quite pleased with. I have, uh, I don't know how many containers full of, um, compost going right now. It's been a couple of months since I logged in last, so like, I don't know how many years have passed in game. Oh, I probably shouldn't be doing this yet. Oh well. I don't I don't even think I've got any salt. 
Whoops. We have peanut husks anywhere. Oh no. Well, that's not gonna work. I think the oven's too cold. So yeah, we've just been sitting here and I've just been waffling away with no music for most of the stream. <laughs> Everyone's just been listening to me blather on. And I couldn't decide what to do, so I figured I'd dig out, you know, dust off vintage story. I probably need to go and... I still have some stuff at my old location. I need to bring the, um, salt out. Oh yay! I was kind of torn between jumping on the server and playing single player just to get the server settings that I wanted as. Um, because there's a few mods that I want to play that I, I like to play with that aren't on the server. Are you playing Rimworld Toast? I very nearly fired up Project Zomboid. But that's like new real estate in the brain, whereas I still had a... I don't know, a cupboard open for storage space in the mental cupboard for Winter Story. So I figured I'd just do that. Try the I've seen you talk about that mod, but I haven't oh, looked at it. Get away. I'm so glad I've got a good amount of syrup here. The last time I logged in, it was to crash the server. You know, with my my leap skills. You dial and we crash him. But yeah, thankfully, before I logged off last time, I planted a bunch of peanuts and a bunch of sun bl blunch of sunflowers. A blunch. Um, so I could just like run over to my old place, harvest some food. No idea. Like I said, the years passed. Years. 84 years. Maybe 84 years. Is there a way to see what year you were in? I have no idea. Year 7? So that's almost 84 years. Close. Hmm. 
I was I was very pleased though that my uh, my windmill is working, and that the trees have all grown up around it, which is what I wanted. I basically wanted my tree to to cover the fact that I had a windmill up there. The original idea was so that it would look mysterious that I had power, uh, but then I put a, a window in so everyone could see, so it's not very mysterious. Like, not much mystery going on there. I still need something. I'm missing my glowing pumpkins. What in Egypt and Greek Mediterranean? Ooh. So I've been quietly planning out Flynn's anniversary stream, which is this Friday. So I won't be streaming on Friday. Instead, I'll be feeding Flint disgusting pizzas. <clears throat> so that's going to be fun. Um, okay. I think I put a... <laughs> The problem is, he may have to eat them, but I still have to cook them. Tuna, chocolate, mango, it might happen, Post. It might happen. I tried to make his ad for it look like a menu this time, and I had kind of had fun designing it. Oh god, the tuna one was fucking horrific. It was so bad. It was like hot dog chili, tuna, mayo, I don't, I don't know, hot, there was hot cocoa powder in there. It was, it was awful. And I have like a very delicate nose too. Like I have a very strong sense of smell. Yes, this year we have canned squid and egg. If, uh, Pop Rocks? I mean like some of that, that candy goo that you get that's like it looks like it's toothpaste but it's candy. Um, and we got like capers, but the, all of these ingredients would probably be okay on their own but combined? I don't know if I've got marshmallows on there. Oh no I do have marshmallows. But basically yeah it's gonna be something. I had so much fun putting the little ad together though. Oh, does anyone here have experience with Corel Draw? The software? That is a very old name. Brave or stupid? Foolish. It is. I was like, wait, does that still exist? That reminds me of like back in the old Amiga days. Maybe not quite that far back, but. Oh, he's showing off the ad there. Um, because I've been offered a, an opportunity to work with them. But I'm not familiar with their software, so I don't want to like get into it and then I'd rather have a personal recommendation, someone who knows the software to be like, it's good or it's shite, rather than just like look up reviews online.
Yeah. Yeah, me too. I was like, I, I'm sure Corel Draw was like around when I was at high school. Maybe. Not Corel, maybe not Corel Draw, but it was definitely Corel something. Corel Paint, maybe? Yeah, it's too cold again. I'm talking too much. But I thought it might be a a good, depending on what's offered, a, a good uh, motivator to do more art streams. Potentially. Hey, Alpha, yes, Fidget Story. You, you may have heard of this game, Alpha. You might like it. Possibly. We, we just we literally just roasted. We've spent the last hour and a half roasting peanuts and listening to me ramble about all sorts of bullshit. Roasting peanuts and getting personal, yeah. Sounded boring, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, you might, you might like it, Alpha. Maybe. There's a few people in here I think might get into it. Eco, you might like it. Okay, we have ads starting in 30 seconds. So, good time to stand up and stretch. Have a wee, get a drink, refill your coffee, pet the dog. <laughs> you know, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to stuff my face with peanuts. All right. Um, you all enjoy peanuts while I take a bio break. Be back shortly. Have fun.
Wait, what did I come back to? A drunk toast. <laughs> toast. Me into the brandy again. Toasted toast. Sorry, toad to turd toast. That's the technical term. Rotated sounds like it does. God, it is so hilarious watching Daisy try and lick her feet when she's got this ring around her neck. She's like, oh, oh. can't quite reach. <laughs> Poor bugger. I feel like the meanest dog mom ever with her right now. Lynn's got a little wheelchair on order for her. So we can take her out for walks. So I can't wait to show you. I'm so going to record her first wheelchair zoom and I'll make sure I share it with everyone. It's going to be very cute. Hey! What is this game? What what I what is this game? Oh hi Drax! <laughs> um uh it's just this it's just this block game. I I don't know if you'd like it. It's it's just you know, you just build stuff with blocks. And then there's like, nah, nah, you, it's too cool to be on Steam. Hey, but if you do get it, yeah, if you do decide to get it, there's some really good guides if you just like go over there. Guy's a bit of a weirdo, but, uh, but he did, like if you if you decide to pick up the game, you should totally check out those links. Fork knife, yeah, fork knife, just because of the sliding. Good, good job. Clicky licky thank you. Yeah, definitely do it. Um I've been basically been spending an hour and a half just like roasting peanuts. Because <laughs> all everything was Everything was rotted. Um, my first hour of sustenance was uh, partially rotten pineapple wine and grenadine. I was like, Drex will be so proud of me. <laughs> Drinking wine. Taking names. That is the life. Yeah, drinking rotten wine. Orange, decaying orange cider. Beautiful life. Are those progressing? I don't think they are. I don't think those are progressing anymore. Delicious! Like, I can smell it. I tell you, there's some very unique smells to industries, I think. Um, and some of the smells that are unique to hospitality are beer spillage. Like the overflow uh, tanks under beer taps. 
it's a very unique smell do not recommend yeah no i had nothing i had some seaweed sheets uh and some rotting wine but but i did leave my garden planted last time i was playing so i was able to just go and harvest i mean i had syrup too um but i i was able to go and harvest supplies so now i'm just getting ready to bulk produce uh paste oh watch out there's this weird person who's just joined the server Ugh. so basically i i i logged in yeah i logged in did peanuts went up and checked on my windmill which is still working by the way and has flourished immensely i now have a big power tree looks pretty cool from a distance actually i kind of wanted to completely hide that there was a windmill up there but i don't know if i can So, plan is make large quantities of candy. I have what, seven vats of fertilizer from my rotting food. Um, but that was, that was nice. Even know, did I have anything going down here? It's not. Hello? It's been very quiet. Weird. I'm like, no, the music's too loud. It's at 1%. And it's too loud. Yeah, I, I don't even know when I planted the... I said it's year seven. I think it's at least 84 years since I logged in last. So I don't know how that math works out. I forgot about the little kitchen carving that I did. Well, now I've got Sinead O'Connor in my head, which is not where I was expecting that to go. know what that's for this room has no room bonus and i don't know why unless it's the two doors maybe the stairs underneath aren't sealed or something How was, how was Sparky game? Odd Sparks. It's 
a lot of animals. I've been, I've been checking. I've had, I had my email out the entire time since you mentioned it on Keymailer. I, f I feel like it was supposed to be a thing where if we did the demo, then we would be more likely to get like full version. Like I think that's what it was supposed to be with like Steam World Build too. But I don't know. I'm glad you had fun. Oh. Yeah, some of them are a bit sort of vague with the wording on Keymailer. Oh shit, Echo, I just saw those pictures you posted. What a contrast. It's amazing. Echo has a got a new phone and the camera is just like a million times better. There's like comparison photos in the gallery in Discord. Well, we'll see. I put in put in for it when you mentioned it. So, but also I'm aware that I think that team is in Europe, so they're probably you know like not at the office now. So probably, which is fine if I have to wait. Sleeping or something? I don't know. Forget about that. Which is fine. I had no fixed plans for this week anyway. It was just kind of whatever happens, happens. I can't wait to see all your new cards. That stitch, by the way, is really pretty. <clears throat> it reminds me of like frilly amoeba organisms but i mean that in like a good way or like algae like the frilly algae stuff <clears throat> it's a headband oh that's cute Queen and algae stitch. Got it. I wish I could wear headbands. They just, my head's a weird shape or something. They just like pop off. It's like a slingshot. I put them on and if there's any form of elasticity, they just go fire off backwards. I'm basically a cone head. <clears throat> Yeah, they just no nothing. Even bandanas. The only way I can make them stay on my head is if I spray like hairspray and use hair clips, use bobby pins. Nothing stays on my head. Unless I tie it under my chin. <clears throat> Which, you know, I mean, I guess it would work. But that is very cute. I do have this cute headband. I have got one of it. Got like a fake braid on it. But I don't know. I kind of like the milkmaid milkmaid braid vibe it has without having to do a milkmaid braid. But even that, it like presses on my ears. Oh, overheating and cooking peanuts is hot work.
honestly, I don't even realize, I don't even think about your phone not having a good picture. <laughs> Until I've seen the contrast, I'm just like, oh. My phone takes good pictures, but only with good lights. I know that's like a weird qualifier because all cameras can take a decent picture when it's a good light. It's fantastic color if there's good lighting. Otherwise, it's just so boring. But I got a cracker picture of Flint the other day when we were working on his deardrop thing. And I love it so much. <laughs> I am going to make it his like profile picture, picture on my phone. The, um, the game devs for the new Ghostbusters game, or for Ghost the Ghostbusters da game, did a personal dare forum through Deardrop to recreate some scenes from the trailer for the new Ghostbusters movie, and we had so much fun planning it out. Nope, not at all. I want to see every single picture. If you want to share it, I want to see it. If you think it's worthy of sharing, I want to see it. Um, so, I had the Manny Petty. My toes are, toenails are the same color, and it's really cute. And I, I feel like I have princess feet right now. I really do feel fancy. And I was briefly tempted to post a picture of my toes because they do look cute on Patreon. <laughs> It's a Patreon only thing that I was just like, no, no, oh, maybe not. <laughs> Feed pics on Patreon. That needs a paywall. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if they would get an uptake. I have one, one supporter on Patreon and I am so thankful that I have one person on Patreon. Um, but I was like, do I, do I? I don't think I want to start with the whole like foot pics on Patreon thing. That they, they, they could be uh, take me down a road I don't want to go down. Yeah, I yeah I don't want to get on wiki feed. They don't have to be my feed. Well, maybe that's true. I could just. Bonus foot of the week. I guess it doesn't necessarily even have to be attached. I think everyone would like pictures of Daisy's paws. Such a goofball. She's still trying to lick her feet right now. He's trying to fight the neck collar, fucking dog. Post hobbit feet? How do you know I don't have hobbit feet? The daily beans? Oh my god, that would be amazing. But yeah, I was like, Patreon? I'll, I'll let you do the hobbit feet on your co fi drugs. So. I sent a picture to Sadie after asking if it was okay because I wanted to show off my, how cute they looked. I don't think I've ever had matching fingernails and toenails. Never had ma had the matching. Where is Hobbit's is? I don't know. What time is it back home at the moment? 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't know. He's probably at work. You never know. Don't discount. I 
I mean, the, the main reason I haven't is, is my feet, that they are so far away. Like, that's a, that's a lot of work to get to my feet right now. <laughs> it's such a, getting a pedicure is such a weirdly intimate thing. Like, it felt good, but it was also, like, uncomfortably intimate. It's very confusing. I think, like... <laughs> and that's totally fine. Like, once I was trying to convince him to to join us, and uh oh yeah the guy had a very firm grip of my foot because i was twitching like a fucking monkey on a hot plate but yeah lind was like i no, i i don't want to and i'm like okay <laughs> i respect your boundaries if you're not comfortable with it fine It needed, to be honest, I needed it done. So, it was a bit of self-care, but it was also work. God, so many people. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough bottles. I have no idea if I'm going to have enough bottles. I've got 15 there. I haven't crashed the server yet today. I don't know if it's been fixed or not. I did not crash the server! False accusation. No. I I think it's true quote like quote space search. Or maybe I could stop mumbling. I think my I noticed my mic has been flipping out, so maybe I just I should say it properly. Is it? It's pinned in mod chat. What is it? Oh no, it is one word. Quote search. Yeah, no, there's just no nothing. There's no quote saved about me crashing servers. I'm okay with that. Oh. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> it's fine. Yes, I think I think there might be an updated bot. It's a uh, update for it at some point. Okay, so the last of them. Of course you did. I'm pretty sure you could go back through and see how many times I've crashed it. So to be fair, the last time I did it was by request. Just FYI. It's kind of like, you know, like if you hack something in Google and Google hire you for security. Like I'm I'm the one to call for crashing servers. So I kinda gave away my secret, so
Okay, I think we're done with roasting of peanuts. Now it is the grinding. The grinding. The entire stream is just going to be peanut butter factory. That's it. <laughs> Never done with roasting dough. Never. All right. Uh, bottom one. All right. So I'm gonna need a bucket. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh no, do it like that. And then it goes in the bucket. It's been a while. I'm so glad I have the windmill set up for this. So my copy is working. I don't know what to talk about. Yeah. I still haven't drunk all my green tea yet. Could we have this grinding a little bit faster? This is going to take a really long time. We have a an estimation here. Oh no, is it snowing again? It's a daily grind. It's going to be the, you know, all stream grind. Grinding all stream. Path to uh, PP, but in this case it's peanut paste. Okay. That's good. Oh no. So what what is it that you're repairing? I am curious. I would like to hear more. Man, we've had so many calm spells. Since I started logged in today, I don't know what's up with that. I guess I could start organizing the storage. Just made out of wood frame with corrugated plastic shooting on the roof. Okay, yep, got it. Oh, okay.
Oh. Okay, so that's going to end up just tearing off and potentially doing more damage. Well, that sounds like a good project to get taken care of. Oh, excuse me. I had lunch today, but I'm feeling peckish again. Wendy's have an orange creamsicle frosty. Yeah, that definitely is not a a wet weather job. If we could have more wind, that would be great, please. I don't no. I don't have any more linen. Oh, my inventory is such a mess. No, I don't think I do. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. All right. Are you? I think you're good, right? The, the slight problem here. Yeah. That's fine. I don't know if I've got space to add more sales. I mean, I know I can, I don't know if we're supposed to add to the existing sales. I think what I'm going to do is surround the staircase with glass now. Hundred. I think that is max, right? Can I get more? Honeybee. Okay, have fun. Is a hundred kilonewtons the max that you can get out of a, a rotor, or can I add more? Okay. Well, I guess I'm adding some more. Oh, again. I thought it was, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure if it was going to be a hundred or a hundred and twenty. I could put in another sim coming out this way, I guess. I 
think I'd rather just go up further. Thanking you all kindly. All right, so before I start building any extra things, let me see. All right, there's some of them. My, my brain is like, how do I do this again? But I... I'm oh, I think I have some flex work. I think I need to put a little... No, a Oh, that doesn't actually really help. You mind? God damn it! I wonder. No, because it's too deep. <laughs> it's too deep, man. It's too deep. All right, let's go. Wait, I have a bucket of flake spoil somewhere. Here. Good night, Drax. Close. That sounds like a delicious problem to have. This bucket full of oil is, um, magic. All right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm gonna need more ladders. Wait.
How did I grab planks? Ah, damn it. Okay. This whole, I'm just going to make peanuts butter all stream has turned into, I'm upgrading the windmill. It does seem to be going a bit faster now. Somewhere. Not the birch. I don't want to use birch planks here. Walnut? Mm. Oh, here we go. Acacia. Wait, what am I making? Letters. Um, dirt. I should take some dirt too. I don't need a lot. But I don't have a lot. You know what's really weird? So this is through Soundstripe, and I've been using Epidemic for the last year, and yet <laughs> these tracks that I'm hearing from Soundstripe are so familiar because I've had them too. I'm curious if there's any crossover between the two websites, actually. There we go. Okay, so I don't know if that's high enough. Okay, so that's the the lowest it can be. So if I go up one more, and then we do another big wheel. Let's send the axles out further. A 
if I have the raisin. So far, one of my favorite things about that Eat Skills mod is just being able to walk up two blocks. You know what, let's get these just made up now. It's less crap. I'm gonna put you here. Alright, resin? Hello. <clears throat> Jeez, ma'am. Oh, resin. Give me a ransom. Okay. Thanks, more well, thanks. Alright, so we've got that. 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 One. Two. Three. And more planks. Do I need for that? We're back. Well, at Oh wow, well, the wind slowed down a bit, huh? <sighs> I don't know what they do. Oh, it stacked those. Okay. Um, I don't know if I need more of those. Well, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Here. 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 Oh no, I have why, why am I making more when it's right there?
think I'm gonna need more dirt. <laughs> Toot. It's such a funny sound when you've not heard it in a while. My god, I have so much fucking compost. Literally hundreds of compost. And no garden. One of those I'm I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's what I need. I think there was something else I needed. Okay, that'll do. Hi, Ravi. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, actually, I'll wait till the end start. Just need to go into a potty check for Daisy, but I can wait a few minutes. There was. I'm a person of their word. Uh. uh. Her, her shovel? It worked. Okay. Hi. Oh no. Yeah, go go do what you gotta do to get comfy. I'm sorry, ear infections suck. So very much. Sorry, you have one. Ouch! Oh, did that just do what I think it did? Stop. Oh, shit. All right, it needs to go up higher, huh? That's fine. We can do that. All right, now we need to go down here. All right. Now I will be right back. It's kind of risky, but it'll be fine.
Malaria allows. Oh. Okay, so we need to build Oh man, when that picks up, that picks up fast. Wait, hang on. Windmill sails don't clip with each other, right? So I should be fine doing it. Okay, yeah, so it's just the sales. It's around the wrong way. I don't know quite what happened there. Here. Oh, what's going on is I'm hungry. Okay. Do I have two? One, two, three. Yeah, so it's just the blades crossing over. That's what I was trying to. Oh, God. Blech. Oh, I made four. That's fine. Well, actually, I can. I can do that. Actually, actually,
Oh, that was too many. All right, now. Why did I do this when I could have just extended it outwards too? I could have just added another set of blades onto the same rotor. Down below. Oh well. Fine. I thought I had some extra sales. Ow. Well, maybe I put them away. Anyway, I'm all set up to add more sails. Oh, so, something. Oh, I did. All right, well, let's go get these two up anyway. More power. It's kind of interesting climbing up through all the different levels here.
think I want to surround the staircase in glass just to prevent leaves from getting in the way again. Well then, I'm gonna figure out where my shovel was. Apparently I was trying to grind it in the ground. Okay. Everything is under control. I need to check something. No, stop it. And then two ways. Okay, I still have a week. Having a panic <laughs> for a second there. Um, all right, while that's happening, what is it, three o'clock in the morning? I'll wait till sun comes up, and then we're gonna go check for salt. Oh, it's raining. I've got some bunch of glass too.
eat that with me either. Just want to just squeeze some more power. More power. Charlie looks like there's something in there. Oh, there is. Ross. <laughs> Delicious. It doesn't look good. Grinding sound is really good. Maybe I should just, you know, process the peanut paste that I have on hand for, um, you know, making the rest. Six o'clock? Yeah. Let's go. Go check for some soul. My brain is not engaging. 
Why is that? Well, that's a sound I've not heard in a while. That rifty sort of ding dong. The rifty ding dong. I, I don't know what I'm streaming tomorrow either, by the way. We're just totally playing everything by ear this week. Um, I won't be streaming on Friday, though. Oh! What the heck? Surprise oranges! Hello? Surprise! Oranges! I was like, alright! Oh, hey, hey! There's more! Wait! What on earth? It's September! Why do I have oranges? I guess it's because I came back into the zone. I mean, yeah, sure. Thanks, buddy. Because reasons. Yeah. Now I'm like, surprise anything else? No, that's fine. I mean, I'm good with that. I have. I have pineapples too, so... Wait, why am I here? Oh, salt. I should just take this back. There's genuinely no reason to be processing salt all the way down here. You know what? And let's make him right. I mean, I'm guessing it's just because no one's been in this uh chunk for a while so they may have been on the way when i logged out last and they finally had their whatever days but i'll pretend that the server's just been nice to me and i'm okay with that oh i actually have an exhaust Yeah, I saw that everyone's been busy, busy, busy. I have like a little canal network going up. Um, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. No, 
Oh yeah, here. I just this bit here needs needs to be carved through or done something with roads. But everywhere else is pretty much connected via water. So there, there, there. Cut over there. And then up. Through there, through there. Does it go from there? Look up there. There's a tunnel somewhere? I don't know, it's been a while. I started connecting it from Old Toast Road. <clears throat> but yeah, it's mostly water navigation. It was kind of tempting just to go straight south, but there was like a lot of unnecessary digging. But that's the only bit really that needs something. I guess road. I kind of like the idea of it being all water because it's so much faster. But yeah, it's literally just like partially dug out and there's no marking or anything. But this is, yeah, this is my old base here. It is stupidly fast. I still haven't set up like a, a farm at the new place. I have no animals. Especially with the speed buffs as well. I think I have, there, there's like wild chickens around here, but that's it. And deer. But I don't have any livestock or anything. Plenty of peanut skins, so you know, plenty of animal feed. Nineteen oranges, though. That's like such a stupid amount. It's not enough to squeeze. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those actually because it isn't enough to squeeze. You'll just have to. It is with level 2 juicer. Do I have level 2 juicer? No, but I could. But don't you still need. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, I'll, I'll poke it there. Thank you, Toast. It's been so long since I played that I haven't... forgotten how to do everything. Just level 20? Oh, that's a bloody eyesore from up here, isn't it? I think we need to add more trees. My giant sky power tree. Power tree. I've got fencing to surround the... Um, I, think I'll switch it. I think I will switch that out for glass. I think it'll look nicer. And switch out get rid of the uh concrete blocks there i think there's there's so many like half done things here it's kind of frustrating This 
just running around with my ex out. Like, it's no big deal. Um, all right. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. Oh, that's a barrel. Whoops. I was like, why doesn't that fit under the juicer? Why can't you just put a barrel under there? Honestly. Okay. Where do I want to put... Salt water stuff. What a barrel of fun. Yeah, see, I don't think I do want that there. Maybe that's why I left the salt at the other place. Alright, so we have one bucket of peanut paste. What, what, ah, after what, three and a half hours? What? Nine point eight liters. What do I want to do with it? Maybe I'll just bottle it. Oh, sorry. Delicious. All right, let's get twenty five forty salt. All right, let's put them in the air. So we've got peanut paste. What is this? Pomegranate syrup, 26 years, 27 years. Mango, pineapple.
All right, so. Like, do I remember how to do this? Okay, I just want to make sure I could stop the process. Shit, my coffee's empty. When does it start splooshing? No? No, my coffee is broken. Not the server. I don't have cheese here. This is a purely peanut butter, sunflower seed candy only household. You need making some unsalted peanut butter, but that's fine. I mean, it's just snacks. It's just trail food that I'm making, really. No, don't slow down. Go faster. Here we go. That's better. No. Oh. The Twitch extension panel crash. I will uh, re-up that once I finish with this round of peanut you know, butter. Oh. What is that? Which just shed itself completely for me. Okay. Well, as long as I'm streaming, okay for you guys. It doesn't really matter if it's not working for me to watch other people, I guess. Not that I should be watching other streams when I'm live, but you know, that's a thing. It looks like I have a plugin error or a script error or something. I have like the little like square sad face with the like the square box with the sad face in it.
Defender. It's weird that Twitch died everywhere for me. Right. All right. Well, that's nine liters of peanut butter. Oh. Here. Let's do this one. Ambient soundscapes. Hmm. <clears throat> Fresh everyone's pages. So Microsoft Edge, which is yeah, I've been using, I generally use Edge as my primary browser right now because it seems to work best for me when I'm streaming. It locked up, and I had like the you know the gray screen with the the little sad face in it on all the video displays. So I reloaded the page and all my screens went blank. And then OBS crashed, but without a crash report. Driver issue perhaps? I may switch onto the um, creator path, creator fork of the graphics driver. Yeah, it's very strange. Like it crashed the other day when I was playing Grounded, but I just assumed it was a game new update thing. I have to roll back a graphics driver or something. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, now this is really weird because... In OBS, I can see the game. Fine. But it's like locked up <laughs> in the... Uh... In, uh, in game for me. Okay. I've had like a little while without any PC issues and it was an absolute dream after having so many problems last year. I don't want more. Please. 
Okay, how do I play Vintage Story again? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Hopefully, Chubbs is no longer concerned. So, yeah, tomorrow I went to get food. That is a very good, if, if all else fails, get it. All right, so we have eight liters of peanut butter. And then we just combine the peanut butter with sunflower seeds. We don't. Can't add anything else at this stage, right? Other than salt. I don't have enough salt for that. Okay, just making sure. I feel like I should be able to add like dried fruit to this since it's just the combining stage. literally i thought i was just being joking at the beginning of the stream that the entire stream was just about making candy but i guess five and a half hours in we're still making candy we've, well, we've only just got to the candy Wow, Discord got janky too. I have to bring up the event viewer, I think. Hello, administrator event, please. Okay, so we do have an OBS crash. Error. Error. And I don't care if that is not significant. And 48 a.m. Don't give a shit about those. Resource exhaustion. Low me virtual memory. Okay, I mean, that explains the issue. But why am I all of a sudden getting low virtual memory issues? Microsoft Edge, Vintage Story, and Camera Hub. So OBS was fine. OBS just couldn't recover from the low virtual memory. Yeah. Let me look at this. Right. Okay. 
So edge used eighteen gig. Vintage story had nine gig of virtual memory taken up, and my camera software had five. Just show it five. That seems a lot for all of them. Microsoft Edge Vin specifically says Microsoft Edge, Vintage Story, and Camera Hub. Ah, oh, maybe that's what I need to do, Soma. Just put them up higher. I don't know what the normal virtual memory usage is for I, any of those things. But okay, well, <clears throat> I am glad that I know well enough to check my Windows event viewer, see what's going on there. Hi, Molly. Sorry, my everything, my computer just kind of shed itself. <laughs> Trying to recover. Trying to figure out why things are getting greedy. Thank you. They feel really weird. I keep seeing them, but they don't feel like they're me. I'm like, whose hand is... Oh, that's my hand. <laughs> Thank thanks. It's, uh... Something... Something... I'm blaming Zoma. It's got on my computer and is eating all my memory. Soma, you don't get memory with your mug. That's not how it works. All right. Well, I'll just put that over here and uh, we'll come back to it. Now I know what to look for. I didn't... When I was playing, when it crashed, when I was playing Grounded, I just assumed it was Grounded being... Sometimes games are just like that. You know, they just crash. But Grounded took OBS with it as well. I did see that there was an OBS update. I didn't look to see if it was it had any issues with uh, memory leaks. Something been gobbling up all gobbling up all my memory. No, so my, no, stop! Don't eat. No, look, now my ads are all out of whack. And OBS doesn't think I have any ads coming. There may or may not be ads. So, maybe. Possibly? I don't know. Ooh, candy. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. Schroding is ads, exactly. May or may not have ads. Oh, yeah, no, that'd do it. There's, there's only so much breathable atmosphere out there, and you needed my virtual memory to do it. Yeah, that makes sense. You stole my internet juice. So, Ma. Oh, come on. Hey, oh. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a bio break and be back soon. It'll be fine.
Right. I think we're back. We're back, right? We're back. Are you an ad? Are you added? Okay, well, my computer seems to be behaving now, so I'm guessing Molly poking it with a stick fixed it. Good to know. Best tech support ever. Oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't have a car. All oh, right, I have no music still. Fuck's sake. It's been a day, hasn't it? All right, let's try this again. <laughs> uh. Okay. Last time this crashed is because I tried to play music. So. I think we're okay. I, oh my god, I had the, like, the worst fucking decision paralysis um, at the salon when they asked what color I wanted. And I was like, I don't know. Pink. And then the nail tech brings over this like security guard scaled keychain thing full of like nail color samples. And I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. Too, too much. Way too much. So I just like pick one out at random and then bonus mom's like, yeah, I like that. I'm like, okay, fine. We'll, just, we'll do that one. Oh, it was so stressful. Who would have thought picking a nail polish color would be hard work? Oh, come on. Wind? Someone needs to get out and push. Ugh. Look, it's barely going. Too slow. I'm just making peanut butter. That's all today. Just peanut butter. Oh, oh, it's picking up. I'm scared to open another browser window in case edge that's been all greedy. Oh, that shouldn't do me for a while. I, I don't know if I should make it all.
Because it'll last a while, right? Four years. Olive oil. Uh, oh, right here. Oh, I do have more wine. Where do we go? Oh, okay, fine. Like, oh god, what if I accidentally mix mix rot with? Uh. Alright, so we still have three liters of peanut butter, so we'll make that up. I don't think there's much, I don't want to make it all up because... Really, damn it. I have bugged rot. Some of my rot is broken. Get out of here with that broken rot bullshit. The broken rot? Yeah, it's. Happen more and more often, it seems. So glad I planted. Okay, so what Hey, label team cooking. Sunflower seeds are here. Here. 
stitches. Well, at a loss as to what the hell is eating my virtual memory. Like why? Not what. I know what it is, but why is it doing it? I have 32 gig RAM. Uh, maybe. I don't click links, I don't download shit from dodgy places. I don't really download anything, to be honest. Do a remote scan, I guess, after stream, but I don't know if it's. Oh no. I hunger. Apparently. Oh heck. Hi, demons. When was I playing? What day is it today? 24th. So the 19th is when I last crashed. see anything there actually weird Q 
You can't make candied pears? That's weird. It seems like something that would... I would eat the... I love candied pear. I would devour that. I don't I mean, I don't see why not. All you need is pear syrup and ears. Oh, we done. Okay. Okay, well, I now have a bunch of candy. So that'll help for next time. Maybe, but I also have ingredients for plenty. Now I'm going to be like, okay, well now I've done that, I can log out and not play again for another five months. Let's... over here, I think, is where I was going to do farm stuff. I think there may have been chickens up here too. Yeah, there's a chicken trapped right in there. Yeah, I thought maybe garden here and uh, something with animals. I guess I have to clear that stuff out. Pears is one of those fruits, like I absolutely really love fresh pears, but it's one of those weird fruits where it doesn't have a lot of flavor. But it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. But it kind of does. Oh, if I put the... I don't 
know. The only thing I make, Abe, is um, peanut butter candy. Pretty much. I make candied fruit and peanut butter candy, and occasionally I'll do muffins, like bread or whatever, but I don't. A lot of stuff set up for that. It's been a long time, Amelia. You're not wrong. I was honestly a little tempted to fire up uh, my single player save just so I could get some in in difference in uh, environment. Alright, I have an idea. Yeah, I needed an, uh, an, an easy on the brain game for today. In the beginning of the stream, I couldn't decide, like 10 minutes before the stream, I still hadn't figured out what I was doing. Which <clears throat> is rough because I'm a bit of a control panicker. Um. But, but, yeah, well, I mean, like, it, it's, it's a comfort game for me. That sounds really good, Toast. Yeah, no, I was saying I was kind of tempted to play single player just so I could, ex you know, kind of enjoy the start of the game with the setup. Um. <laughs> but also, I kind of miss the se seasonal variation. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. I miss the full colors. What about the barrels? Would you? I mean, easily. They are quite pretty. God, I've just been leaving all the doors open. A risky business. Yeah, I mean it's it's I like that. It's fun. And every time you start, you learn something new.
Okay, this isn't what I was planning. Wait, whoa. Okay. Oh, I'm like, wait, why am I hungry? All right, because I've been making food, but not actually using it. I'll do it. Who needs a plan? Exactly. Planch man. Oh. Aww. Aww. Stop that. Uh, I guess? My little salt area thing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. That's just a place with the stuff. Do I have more buckets? That is the question. Well, I mean, it's a question, it's not the question. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's get some uh, chalk rock to put on the bottom there. Chalk rock sand. Hey, apprentice. Hello. Oh, this is Ashla blocks. Is it what I want? Uh, it's it's going. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I mean, who does really? Wait, can I do this? Back. Fine, whatever. <laughs> uh. 
Perfect. <gasps> no! My shovel broke. Rude. So we have here. It's my little salt water place thing. Need two more barrels. Do I have two more barrels? Probably somewhere. Alright, not that I can see. Alright, um, how to barrel sticks and planks. <sighs> do a barrel roll. I do a barrel roll if you can't remember how to make a barrel. I only need two. Okay, there we go. This will work for something. Random little salt water fountain in the middle of the jungle. Like the fountain of youth, but salty. You know what would be cool? If you could hang buckets up on hook. You know, like there's a tool rack. It'd be pretty cool if you could hang buckets up. Yeah, cleavers can't, but uh, I mean, buckets. Buckets. I would like what
Okay, so what we've done... I was gonna say, oh, I don't know how long I've been live for now. Wait, my timestamps are all fucked up. Nearly nine o'clock, so basically four and a half hours, because I started late. I don't see any weird activity picking up on Task Manager, so... Probably just Edge. I really love this little bureau that we carved out. With the, the little tea set from Toast. And I don't know what that is. Honey, maybe? I do feel like I've maybe had it. Hey there. A little braid around the edges. I don't know. So tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Going. Is there anyone else playing this first and foremost? Yep. No closed tab. Each tab. Different thing. I don't know what I'm planning on streaming tomorrow. Okay, so we might rip two right into there. First, let's check the category directory. Oh, it's pretty quiet tonight, huh? I'm gobbling up most of the viewers. All right, you know what? I'm going to send you guys over to Vape Chaos. Oh, why is chaos? I'm going to send you guys over to Norwesty. Some of you may know Norwesty from other Venture Story streams. Um, Grax's stream. Uh, it's a lovely Kiwi chap. You might recognize his accent. Possibly. Um, so odd dropping things. I'm a, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Something. We're doing something tomorrow. Something. But I, yeah, I need to, uh, I need to unplug for it. I can, I can feel oh, myself so unfraying. Hey, we're back. So, I'm going to send you over there. You guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, keeping me company while I spend four hours grinding peanuts and making candy. Um, where we are going, here are the raid messages. If you would like to copy and paste that, you can do that in chat, or you can make your own. Whatever you feel like. Right, add eyeballs and tentacles, that's okay with me. Okay, um, yeah, there's me on social as well. Uh, please remember as well, I will not be streaming on Friday um, because Flint is doing his stream anniversary and I will be baking first pizzas for him. Um, so make sure you uh, follow, uh, how do I do this again? Like this? Yeah, go for, go follow Flint. I think he's kind of cute, but I'm biased. I'm married to him. Fresh, yeah, these will not be yummy pizzas, Flowback. Not at all. Okay, now I can't. I did that. Now I can't see anything. Go away. Ah. Okay. Um, uh, we're about to get. Uh, I'm getting timed out. I'm gonna shut up now. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.